Um, my name is Samina Nazir, and I'm from Pakistan. And the first question we want to ask is, how authentic do you feel our calls for women's participation in implementing 1325 in the, within the peace process? And what would make it authentic if it's not already happening? In terms of uh, really making women's participation visible in peacemaking processes, unfortunately, it is not as it should be. Um, the recent statistics that were shared to us was that in terms of uh, uh, women's participation in peacekeeping forces, it's still only less than 20%. But more important than women being in the peacekeeping forces is um, women's ability to influence peace processes and negotiations in their own country. And that is very disappointing, particularly um, in my region. I'm from Pakistan, and we have active conflicts going on in many countries in the region. And we have not seen women from Pakistan or Afghanistan or um, other countries really be at the table in any meaningful way. In Afghanistan, you see women sometimes there at the tables. Uh, in Pakistan, you never see women in the serious peacekeeping uh, negotiations. So um, it is not really uh, an active or a meaningful participation, and there is a lot of work that needs to be done um, not only making sure that women are able to participate uh, in national negotiations or negotiations with all stakeholders, but also women are, should be able to participate in de decision making about peace, about development, about national issues at all levels. So Pakistan, for example, is an agrarian society. The literacy rate for women in rural areas is less than 27%. And to make sure that voices of those women are included in the peacekeeping and peacemaking processes at all level, women have to be facilitated at the village level, at the district level, at the provincial level, at the national level. So they are doing this on a regular basis, not when we just need to show that women are here. So it's not the number, it's also the actual representation. Also, what women say in the meetings, is it taken seriously? It does anyone implement what women say? Do women's voices are really considered important and meaningful? If a woman makes recommendation, do people really take it seriously? And that's also very important. And for a lot of these events, um, unfortunately, women's role so far has been very ceremonial. And governments and the United Nations and all of us in the civil society need to join hands to make it more meaningful. Thank you. Thank you. And the second question we want to ask is, what is the role of women of faith with implementing peace and 1325? The role of women of faith in this process is, is critical because not only they represent themselves, they also represent their communities, they represent their um, uh, local issues, and they are really um, in touch with the ground realities. They are also representing larger visions uh, of peace um, uh, all religions in the world have promoted peace and all religions in the world have um, given importance to dignity of human lives, men and women. And women of faith have been, I think, at the forefront of, uh, of uh, promoting peace and taking risks and putting their lives online, be it uh, Palestinian and Israeli women calling for peace, be it women in black in all parts of the country, uh, of, of the world. United Methodist women um, have been supporting such efforts everywhere. Um, so I think they have a very critical role and they're playing it. Thank you. Thank you.